Well, I'm actually recording, so brilliant. And I guess it's one of those blocks again because I never always know what I'm going to talk about. But this one is just going to be a simple one. It's going to be something about Christmas because we're at that time of year again. And basically, um, I suppose it's the same every Christmas. Um, not much different, and it ain't much different this year. But um, basically, I spend my Christmas with my mum and dad. So that's basically what my Christmas day is. Although I do not know whether they are actually going out around my aunts and uncles. And if they are, then sadly I will be at home by myself. And I know what you're going to be thinking. No Christmas dinner. Well, you know, I want to just say that I'm not the biggest Christmas dinner fan. And... I guess I probably don't talk about this too much on my blog because not a lot of people know but um, basically I am a fussy eater so cooking is an absolute... It, I love cooking, I understand, you know, and I've often done things on there but I just don't like a lot of stuff so basically I prefer only to cook for myself and Christmas dinner is something that I would not eat a lot of however I can have my own version of it, I just would not eat everything that goes on to a Christmas dinner and plus it is something that maybe, just maybe you get a lot of it I mean, I don't know what some people are like when they do a Christmas dinner but I know that um, sometimes my mum and dad does a bit extra but I think maybe, just maybe there are times when a Christmas dinner is an absolute like there's so many veg, there's so much that goes on to a Christmas dinner is like, you know, you're going to be full before you've even started because you think about what that is, and I know that other countries might not have the same ethos as what we have. I mean, basically, um, when my mum and dad do a Christmas dinner, they're not big fans of turkey. They like turkey, but they don't really want it at Christmas. So, mum either eats chicken, usually, usually by the roast chicken. And you know, because I'm not much of a meat, um, I'm not much of a meat eater, so I only eat sausages. Basically, that's the only meat I eat, so the chance of having any turkey at Christmas is slim for me. Um, but yeah, um, the whole idea is that basically, um, depending on what you have, I don't know, but there is there a lot of time when people do all these veg, you know, it's not just Brussels sprouts, it's not just having carrots, it's not just maybe having peas, it's having parsnips, it's doing bloody goodness knows what, you're, you're, you're having some like maybe red cabbage on it, you know, you're probably having like, um, I don't know, you do, you, so, so that's, you know, you would have your turkey, you would have your sausages wrapped in bacon, you know, um, and you would have your roast potatoes, and who knows what else you might have, we always have Yorkshire pudding, that's always a thing, and to me, if I wanted a Christmas dinner, and it's always, if I want a Christmas dinner, and I want to eat one, then I will have Yorkshire pudding. I like Yorkshire pudding. I would have that. I would have roast potatoes. I would have carrots, but they have to be from a tin. But again, it's still carrots, so it's still a form of red. And then I would eat maybe, usually, hot dogs. I could eat a sausage or two, but hot dog would be my main choice. So I would have four ingredients, and then obviously the gravy which would be my version of, say, a Christmas dinner. Um, I mean, it might not seem like a Christmas dinner, but it would be. I don't know, possibly not in America, but I don't know if a lot of people use Yorkshire pudding as a form of Christmas dinner. I mean, it might not be traditional to have Yorkshire pudding as a, as a Christ, on your Christmas dinner because you've often got your turkey, your stuffing, and all your veg and your roast potatoes and whatever else. But I suppose, I suppose in this country, it's a roast dinner. And when it comes to something like that, Yorkshire pudding is an absolute godsend to a lot of people. I mean, we practically live on the stuff. It's our it's our meal. It's our meal. And if it's not if you're not if you're not having turkey, you can have beef. It's a thing that goes well with Yorkshire pudding. It's a traditional thing on both beef and Yorkshire pudding. But I think Yorkshire pudding would be quite a a thing to have on a lot of menus, basically. So yeah, um, so at this moment in time I don't know whether they're going to be going out to my aunts and uncles and 
that that's the point. I would, I would, I wouldn't go. But then if I had to go, you know, they'd be eating their Christmas dinner, so I would have to uh, make sure that they have dinner for me. They would not buy tin carrot, so sadly, because I don't eat fresh. I don't know what it is, but I just never eat fresh carrot. I can't. They absolutely do my nut in. I have to have tin carrots. I know it. I know that's the fussy thing about myself and my cooking and my eating. I have to have certain things. But it's the way I am, I just can't be dealing with, you know, and I... As I'm, I'm still eating carrots though, so I don't see why anybody would complain that I'm not having carrots. I'm still eating them, it's just that is not, like, certain things. So I'm still eating, like, tinned carrots. It's better than having absolute zero and zilch. They will make Yorkshire pudding though, so that's not a bad thing. I don't mind having that, and I don't mind having, um, the, um, both potatoes that they will do. Um, I would take my own carrots, I would take my own tin, so at the end of the day they can boil them and whatever else, and then I will sort in my dinner. Um, I guess, and it wouldn't be a bad thing going around there, but I think, um, as I've got older I have come to the conclusion that seeing my family left isn't a bad thing. I, I, I suppose, in a way, I prefer to spend time with my friends more than my family sometimes. And I think that's purely down to, um, basically because, um, ooh, I'm trying to think, basically purely down to the fact that I've, that I've, I prefer my friends, you know, I've, because when I was a kid I used to enjoy going around certain, certain cousins of mine and I never wanted to leave, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, you grow out of them a little bit and they're not as, you know, as, as maybe before. So, I do like to spend probably a little bit more time with my friends and that's what I enjoy. But I don't say that I don't hate my family. I, I, I never would do. You know, they're important to me. It's just that I don't probably spend as much time with them as maybe I should. And I guess I do prefer to have certain things, you know, certainly... Like I said, I would rather spend it with my friends and then rather than maybe my family. That's probably why I enjoy that, maybe, you know, and it's not a case of me going around. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So bye for now.